What's going on, everybody? I'm Scars Leon as always. I'm Scars Leon as always, and we're here with another Minecraft mod spotlight. We are um doing a spotlight on the mod storage drawers. This is a way to, in your vanilla Minecraft or whatever kind of Minecraft you're playing, heavily modded, lightly modded, what have you, to organize and um. Keep track of what you have. It's a lot more organized and a lot more compact than you having a bunch of chests and signs and all that. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So you have a um, bunch of drawers, basic drawers. Uh, you have your one by one, which holds 32 full stacks of an item per drawer. Uh, you can make a full one, which is with... Um, Birch planks, which is with not just birch, any kind of wood planks. Or you can make a half one, which holds half the amount, 16 full stacks per drawer, uh, using half slabs. I actually have these two mixed around. Hold on. Okay. And you get one drawer when you make this. Um, I'm not sure how many drawers you get if you make a half. And then you have a one by two. I have a half one here that holds eight stacks per drawer, a full one would hold 16 stacks per drawer and it's in an H formation with um, wood planks or slabs if you want a full one or a half one and two chests and then this one is three up three down and then a chest in the center uh, like I said to make halves you use half slabs of wood to make a full drawers you use just wooden planks and then you have a two by two, which is four drawers. Uh, and that's just a T with four chests in the corner. Uh, this is a half one because I use half slabs. It holds four full stacks per drawer. If it was a full one, it would be eight full stacks per drawer. And then you have uh, the full one, a two by two, which is, like I said, just a T, four chests in the corner. And this is with full planks, so we get a full one. And that's pretty much all there is to making the drawers. They're really easy to make. Uh, so it's not like you have to go out of your way to like farm up a crap ton of stuff to make a bunch. But let's get into um let's let's get into how they work. So the way they work, hold on, let me let me do something real quick. Okay, so how they work is you have an item you want to store. All you would do is, let's take this out, okay. So you have an item you want to store. That's fine. Everyone needs to store items somewhere. Now I have 64 of this granite block. And I see a full slab, a uh, nice little drawer here. A drawer that would hold 16 full stacks of an item. Now instead of building a chest and having just one slot there, I can easily see what I have and all that. Or trying to organize up a chest and everything. Like I have a bunch of stone in the chest, granite, and all that. Well, now I can just go ahead with the block I have in hand. If I go ahead, I'm going to move. I have 64 and 1. We'll use the 1 for now. If I go ahead and with it in hand, right click, aimed at the drawer I want to use. It puts it in the drawer. Now there is no way to uh, look in, technically look inside the drawer. Now, I have a full stack. If we um, shift right click, nope, don't work. Okay. If we right click with a full stack, or however much we have in the stack, it puts the entire stack in. Now, if we go ahead and shift right click, we can open up a GUI that opens up uh, upgrades, our inventory, and oak drawers. Now, I don't think that we can add more items in through the GUI. You have to shift click with a right shift right click with an open hand. Uh, we cannot we cannot add things to the drawer that way. So we have to take it in hand right click and it's in the drawer. But when we shift right click we can see how much we have of each item in the drawer. So like here we have 69 uh, granite or one stack and four individual pieces and then one andesite which is nice and cool over here if we shift right click 
we have four drawers, which hold eight full stacks, and we only have a couple of things in there. Here, I have a very upgraded drawer, and I have 961. This can hold 32 full stacks, uh, which I'm not even sure if that's anywhere close, but... Um, what this is, I will show you over here, and what these this doohickey is, and then I have another doohickey back here, is a compacting drawer, which allows you to put in an item, and it'll compact it down and store it that way, too. Um, each There are three drawers. There's the uh, base drawer, single compacted drawer, and a double compacted drawer. Each drawer holds 128 full stacks, which is a lot of items, which means you can hold a lot of items in one uh, drawer system. And that's made with five stone, uh, iron ingot, two pistons, and uh, any sort of drawer. It really doesn't matter what the drawer is. And then we have a drawer controller, which allows you to input, right click on it, and it'll automatically put that item to whatever drawer it has that item in it, which is really cool and intuitive. So you have stone with five stone, a diamond this time, it's a bit pricey, uh, two redstone comparators, and a set of drawers. And then you have a drawer controller slave, which is just another input point to put items into your drawer system. It works the same way as a drawer controller, um, except you have to have a hopper system or some way to input items into it. And you can put single items into it, not just a full stack. So if you only need to get rid of a couple things, you can just toss it in there and it'll sort it for you. Uh, and that's made with five stone, two comparators again, another set of drawers, but this time with a gold ingot. And then this is a cool item, it's called a drawer key. This is made with two gold ingots, a template, which I'll show you the recipe here in a sec, and a gold nugget. But what that does is, if we go ahead and um, let's just do this one, that now has a lock symbol on it. So if we go ahead, okay, now that was a horrible <laughs> pick because there's so many in there. Let's go ahead and do. No. This. I didn't lock it. Okay. All right, let's try that again. Oop. Okay. So now if we do it. So I have all of the items out. Normally, if we go over here to this, take it out, all the items are out of that drawer, which means it is no longer linked to an item. But if we, but here, if we shift right click, there are no items of granite in that drawer, so it should be clear. But what the lock key does is it locks that drawer um, block, whether it be one by one, one by two, two by two, whatever, to those items. So essentially, even if you have nothing in there for whatever reason, um, it will still be programmed to only take that block. So if we go ahead and take all that out, now let's grab, let's say a stone, because that was andesite. Stone, if I try to input it into either of these, it don't accept it. It cleared the rest of my inventory. <laughs> no. Whoops. Well, no. let's go ahead and fix that. Wasn't expecting to do that. And sight. Granite. Okay. No. So yeah, it locks it so that way, even if you pulled everything out of it, say you have like a a chest like this. Say you have an axe or a weapons chest, a four by four. Uh that way, even if you were to for some reason, like your friends, like you're playing on a um with friends or whatever on your own little server and you have this mod. Uh, that way, I'm just gonna block that up. Um, uh, even if everyone takes all of the items out, you guys still know where to put items back into when you're done using them. 
And you can do this with armor, weapons, anything really. Anything you need to store. I don't think it'll work with this, but you know what? It's worth a try. Oh my god, it does work. It works with modded items too. Hot damn. So you can store literally anything you want. And remember, it is limited to a number of stacks, so even if the item can't be stacked, it, that counts as one stack. So like, one axe is one stack. So just keep that in mind when you're filling up stuff. All right, so that's all of that. And uh, I forgot the compacting drawer. Anyway, the drawer controller, I probably should actually talk about since I showed it. Because normally you'd have to go to the block. This can reach uh, 12 away. This is nowhere near 12 away. And all your drawers have to be uh, connected in order for it to actually do what it's about to do. Uh, but if you walk in, you don't feel like going all the way, finding your drawer, blah, 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 and all that. All you can do is go over to your drawer control, and bam, it's gone. Why? Because it already put it into whatever block. So you put it into this drawer here. And it has to be touching your drawer system. Back here is our uh, slave controller, which if we do the same thing... Which it is already gone and sorted over to here. Which, this is a good way. It's basically a trash receptacle, honestly. Basically, if you have a bunch of things that you know is just trash, but you don't feel like having lava in your um, house because of obvious reasons, you don't want everything to burn down to the ground. Uh then this would be a good way to sort out your trash, too. This is the compacting drawer. This is a really cool drawer. Basically, what it does is... Let me... Oop, okay. So, I have 64 gold nuggets. If I were to input these in, it shows me um, the base item, what it'll compress into initially, and then what it'll double compress into. So, basically, base item what that changes into and then what that compressed item changes into now if we right click we can see like we have 64 gold nuggets or we have 74 gold ingots and we have zero blocks of gold in here which is really cool it's a really cool way to store your um metal because if we go ahead and take uh, another one and let's say put in a diamond which i don't know if it'll work and let's do coal let's do a coal one because i'm in creative i can do this boop boop okay let's go ahead and do coal and diamond there is no um initial item there's just a first compressed and a second compressed same with this one but because i like iron and gold can be changed into um nuggets this is going to have all three drawers up. This one, not so much. This one, not so much. But it still has the same idea of one item, and it'll sh and it'll compress it for you, so you don't need to keep making more. And then, of course, um, right-click enters an item, left-click pulls it out, shift-left-click pulls out an entire stack, or shift-right-click um, doesn't actually uh, opens up the GUI. All right, so on to the next part of this, which is the upgrades. With the template, which is what you need to make any upgrade for these drawers, is just eight sticks and a one-by-one one drawer in the center, and then you get four upgrade templates. The first set of um, upgrades is redstone up update. Redstone upgrades. You have a max redstone upgrade, um, a min stone upgrade, and then just a regular redstone upgrade. And the difference is... With the Mac, uh, let's do the min up zone upgrade with five sticks, template in the center, and three redstone dust on the bottom. Um, when you have two drawers with items in it, and one of them has the least amount of items, it's going to emit a redstone signal. And then over here is five sticks on the bottom, three on the three redstone dust on the top with a template in the middle. You get the redstone max, which is just the opposite. You miss the signal for the most full slot. 
And then here is our redstone upgrade, which is four sticks and four redstone dust in this configuration with a template. Uh, if that drawer system, if that whole drawer block is full to the brim, then it will emit a redstone signal. So this will be a good way to like over here. I have an example. Um, see, I have one drawer with something in it, but it's not emitting a redstone signal. Why? Because you need something in both drawers in order for it to uh, put out a redstone signal. So if we put back in this cobblestone, because I have a drawer with the least few items, it emits that redstone signal. And if I pull out the stone, whoops, um, same principle. I only have one, I have one drawer that has nothing in it. So it has nothing to compare to what has the least amount of items. So if we put that all right back, it now says, oh, there's your the least amount of items. I can output a redstone signal and activate this piston. So it's a good, it'd be a cool way to have like um, a very easy hidden door. Because you could just be like, okay, I'm going to have the door set up to um, be short, like have all of this in it. Um, hold on, I have an example. All right. Okay. So we have a drawer here. I have seven full, I have eight full stacks of stone and seven full stacks and 63 uh, cobblestone. I shouldn't be putting out a redstone signal. Why is it putting out a redstone signal? Well, that's not right. Well, anyway, so uh, with the max, with it having to be total storage, what would happen is all you would have to do is in this situation, put in the last cobblestone you need and it would put out a redstone signal and then bam, doors open and no one would know. No one would know how to open the door, which would be a really cool way to have a secret way to open the door. Uh, anyway. All right. So that is the redstone upgrades. And then we get into some of the more interesting upgrades. Here we have a void upgrade. You use eight obsidian with a template and you get a void upgrade. And what that does is if you were to put more items past the drawers maximum capacity, it'll just destroy those items. So if we go ahead and try, oop, okay. I need a, I need one cobblestone. Okay. So I have, Full stacks in each, if I just try to put it in, it doesn't upgrade it because it's gone. It is now lost to the void. Ah, shit. Uh, one second. All right, nothing happened. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't, don't look at me like that. Don't. It's not cool. Okay. Now we have a downgrade. This limits the storage of any drawer to one full stack, which again would be really helpful if you're looking for an easy way to make a simple secret switch for your door. And it's just six stick, uh, well, three stick up, three stick down, two flints and a template. And then from here on out, all the upgrades will be the same. Just the two, the, the two side materials are going to change. Um, so, and then we have a storage one upgrade. It takes the base value, multiplies it by two, and then it upgrades that drawer by that much. So say we have a um, two by two. One drawer can hold eight full stacks. So if we put in that upgrade one, each drawer will then be able to hold 16 full stacks because you can't take the eight times two. And with stacking those uh, upgrades, like over here, over here, the way it works is I had to actually think this through is it is upgraded 
once by each one. And it doesn't stack. So you don't go like 32 times 32. You don't go like, oh, base value times 32 and then take that times 32 and then that. By th no, it's not like that. It's basically this holds 32 full stacks of an item. So we put in one upgrade. It um, multiplies that by 32 and then you're done. And then you add on another 32 times 32 because you're taking the base value times this upgrade and then you add it on. So essentially what it turns into if you stack upgrades on is you do um, so 32 base value. So when we put in an upgrade, we take that 32 times 32 and that is how much it can now hold. So if you put in another upgrade, you add them. So basically it's you take. So the first one is 32 times 32 and that's the new system. And then you do plus 32 times 32 and then that's how much it can hold now. And then you do another plus 32 times 32 plus 32 times 32 plus 32 times 32. And then it this can hold up to about 7,000 full stacks. Why you would ever need have that much done, I don't know. But that's how stacking the upgrades work. You add the next upgrade to the system, not multiply all the upgrades together. I had to figure that out the hard way. Uh, and then we have the iron upgrades, storage upgrade number two with uh, two iron ingots. Um, it's four times the base value. So if it's a four by if it's a two by two, each one holding eight, you, each drawer can now hold 32 times the base value. Then up here we have a gold upgrade, storage upgrade number three, which is just uh, with two gold ingots now, uh, eight times the base value, which is quite a bit. Uh, you're looking at just a simple half draw, half two by two of each one holding four. Now each one's holding 32. You have four single drawers, four uh, one by one drawers in one block, which is saves a lot of space. And it's not too costly. Uh, this one's a bit pricier. You have the storage upgrade four, the diamond upgrade uh, multiplies your base value by six increase the storage by 16 times the base value uh so your two by two half drawer is now going to be holding 64 full stacks of everything and it's with two diamond now so it's a bit pricier this one i'm not sure how rare emerald is i've never actually looked into that but with the emerald upgrade it's 32 times the base value and it's with two emerald so it could and i did the math this drawer holds the equivalent of 132 double chests worth of stone now instead of having a warehouse of just a stone chest um i have one block that saves tremendously on space and keeps everything nice looking neat organized and you don't have to worry about scrunging through. Oh, is it in this chest? Is it in this chest? Is it in this chest? No, it's in this drawer right there. All right, so that's that. And then we have our, our keys, like you saw, our drawer key, which allows us to lock an item to that drawer or lock a drawer to a certain item, even if there's none in it. And then if we take that drawer key and we combine it with a book and quill, we now get a quantify key. And all it does, as you can see here, is it tells us, and if we use it on the drawer system, it does it for everything, how much of an item is in that drawer. So if we take, nope, it's in tools, that's right. So if we take another golden ax and pop it in there, we now have two. And then if we go ahead and uh, right click with it, it now takes away all those numbers that aren't connected to the drawer system. Such as this one, I have to, because it's not connected to any of the other drawers that are um, touching the drawer controller or touching the drawer controller itself. But yeah, so now you can see how much of an item's like, oh, I have this much stone. Oh, I have that many axes. I have that many tiny mob farms. 
So it's a great way to keep organized, um, secret buttons, compress all of your items, and keep things nice, clean looking, simple, and um, would really help with just uh, overall aesthetic. Because while the chests are nice and useful, um, you have, like, Eventually it gets muddied and you're having to scrounge through this way you have your chest all You have your drawers nice organized. You know what's in each one uh, You know how many of that item you got and You know secret switches all the all the works So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed be sure to check out this mod. This is actually a really cool one that I might actually just permanently keep in my Minecraft. Um, it's a really simple mod, really easy to use, and will help tremendously on storage costs. Because uh, you're not having to make so many chests all the time. And overall compactness. Because like here I had to make like a bunch of chests and all that. Like again, Like I said... 131 chests I can get rid of by just having this fully upgraded. So, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you know when I come up with more content next. And I hope to see you all next time. So, until then, have a great day, everybody.